my name is Matthew Kay. I'm here at uh, Scouting for Bricks uh, 2016 in Leesburg, Virginia. Uh, and we're taking a look at a wonderful, wonderful cathedral build. Uh, Pablo, do you want to give me a little bit more insight into what we're looking at? Sure. So um, there's a small town in the northernmost part of Colombia. Um, and it's uh, an interesting town because a lot of the soil is yellow, orangish, and it changes tints. So the main kind of largest building in the in the area is this uh, cathedral, or well, they call it a cathedral. It's a small church that it ranges from the color. So from far away, it looks orange, but that's why I chose all the different bricks to kind of emulate that. But the real reason why I built it is not because of any kind of uh, geological significance. It's the church where my grandparents got married. Um, and so it's kind of my way to show my family members back in Colombia that I, you know, don't get to see that often that, uh, you know, I still think of them, even when it means uh, putting some plastic bricks together to make something that's beautiful to, you know, the uh, eye of the beholder anywhere else. But kind of when they see the church, the family members understand what's going on with the uh, mock there. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, when you built it, did you like share photos with them immediately? I did. I actually, um, it was very nice because um, I built a small like architectural scale uh, version of it first, and I sent a, a, a. I actually built it on LDD first, and I sent a photo of it to my grandmother. And you know, bless her heart, she doesn't understand that much about Lego, so she didn't even have an idea that this is what I was going for. So she sees this like small scale micro architectural model of the church, and she goes, "Oh my God, it's a model of the church." And I'm like, "Grandma, wait two years to see what actually ends up going with this, and then we'll see what happens." But uh, yeah, they've seen the photos, and they've been very. Actually, it got a uh, published in a, a Colombian newspaper about it as well. So I'm glad that at least it also got a. Little bit of covers and they're like, look what this guy, uh, you know, halfway across the continent is building as well. So it was a little nice uh, demonstration there. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're approaching the design of it, what, what was your process like? Were you sketching things out? You mentioned the small scale model. Yeah. So uh, I uh, I usually like to do a small scale model uh, to understand the Lego um, math to it first. So I do this like small scale version thing. Okay. So this is how big something like this is going to be. Um, and then I do a sketch, uh, usually trying to figure out like what I'm going for first. So I knew that I wanted to do something where uh, this would be about half the size of this, um, where this would cut about uh, half of the size of each tower, so stuff like that. Um, and then I choose one or two areas of the build that I'm going to structure everything else around. So for this, I chose the front gate first. So I built that front gate area first. And then I also chose the uh, uh, top area here because I had to figure out, uh, you know, circumference-wise how big it would be and if it would fit with the remainder of it. So I think that once I got both of those uh, up, you know, since this is all mo more blocky, it came a little bit easier than, like, those two very specific areas. So And then, like, the rest of it kind of fills in itself. Right, exactly. So, like, when I was building that, I realized, oh, okay, so this is going to stop at this area of the tower, and this is what this smaller tower is going to be, all based on those two smaller areas right there as well. Now, uh, for, like, transportation, well, what is uh, what does the breakdown look like? That's always interesting to, to me, at least. Emphasis on the word breakdown. Um, since uh, this is the first year that it's been fully built like this, uh, it's been the first year that it's been... Uh, testing uh, the structural stability of it. Uh, so I'm actually going to make a lot of uh, overhauls to the interior area when I get back. But yeah, mostly uh, I kind of separate into five big areas. So you've got the uh, torso here, which is just this tower area. You've got the um, gate here. You've got the two towers, which separate. Um, and then you've got the two areas back here. So actually one of the parts that I liked a lot when I was building it is that you'll notice that the front area here has the uh, jumper plate ridges and so you mix the ridge plates uh, with just uh, empty areas in the two towers so let me actually turn around to show you how it works he, he comes around mobile Pablo uh, so this is how it works in that in that case uh, you have the areas right here that it's just like you use the plates here to make an empty spot and once you put it in there these two areas, just by like finagling a little bit, it comes together like a puzzle. Slots in. Exactly. And so it's like those little things that um, just because I knew that I was going to have to carry around a lot, I didn't use Technic beams as much to make it come together. I did in the inside of the torso big part itself, but here in the outside areas, it's a little bit more of a, a, like a very careful jigsaw puzzle coming together. That's awesome. Well, a wonderful backstory and a wonderful build. Thank you so, so much for sharing with us. Thank you so much, Matthew.